What's up, y'all? Oh man, I don't know about y'all, but I am insanely tired of winter time. So I'm getting a little stir crazy, getting out here with my buddy Colton Watkins right here. And y'all, today, Colton and I, we tore up the speckled trout. So in this video, I'm gonna show y'all not only some good uh, fish catching action for speckled trout, but we also wanna talk about, I don't know, some of like the top inshore lures and kind of like my setup and also some tactics and even patterns for how to be like successful catching fish, speckled trout and redfish, um, all of our kind of inshore game fish out on the water in the dead of winter time. So the date that we're filming this is actually, isn't today like leap, leap day? Yeah. Leap day year. Today's February 29th and I think that only happens like one day out of every four years or eight years or something crazy like that. So anyways, this is like literally where the bottom drops out. This is like the coldest that pretty much like the water's gonna get, the coldest, the air is, everything. And also this is like when the bottom drops out for like me personally, because I don't know about y'all, but by like November, December, I'm like, cool, colder weather, good change. January, I'm ready to go to Florida. February, I'm like ready to go crazy. So this video is gonna show y'all that just cause it's winter time, just cause it's dead of winter, it does not mean that the fish are not biting. So y'all watch the end of the video. If y'all wanna see some of like the specifics of my favorite lures, and also just some tactics for like just, you know, choosing colors, lures, and profiles, everything like that for wintertime fishing. All right, y'all, let's roll camera. Y'all can put on all the clothes that you want and all the layers, but it's about 39 40 degrees out here and we're going about 32 miles an hour. It is absolutely freezing. All right, y'all. This is what I'm gonna be starting out with today. Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet. Y'all see me fish this all the time. Today I'm using a quarter ounce jig head. I like this smaller profile bait. This is what I'm about to start with in the winter time. Something I can work on the bottom. Today we're fishing a little bit deeper. It's like 15 to 20 feet deep where we're fishing. That's what we're starting out with right here. So we're gonna use a quarter ounce jig head. Sometimes I'm fishing deeper like that. I'm gonna use a 3 8 ounce jig head. But so I like something with a slower fall rate. So I like that quarter ounce jig head and just something that kind of mimics the action of like a mirror lure. But yeah, so that's like the type of action that I'm going for today is just something that's like a subtle, like hops off the bottom. Come on, Mr. Fishy. So I gotta pick up something between now and then. There's a fish. There we go. Decent. All right, y'all. My first fish of the day. Oh yes, I have not felt that trout thump in a long time. These guys are like barely hitting it. Please get in my boat, Mr. Fishy. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's all good. It counts. We got leader. It counts. All right, y'all. That was our first fish of the day. <laughs> There's one. There we go. All right, y'all. Lost the first one. We're gonna get this second one. He doesn't feel as big, but we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna flip this guy. He's running right towards the boat. All right, buddy. This is how you boat flip when you forget the net, people. Keep tension on them and all one motion into the net, just like that. All right, y'all. My first official trout, second trout of the day. These guys are skinny. That's about a 16, 17 incher. Definitely a fun fish. Change it up and we're using this, what is this? Molotron? Molotron, yeah. Molotron, that's the color we're using. Actually going with a larger profile today. So these are the diesel minnows and diesel minnow Z is what we're using. Boom, people. There it is. Look how skinny these things are. Very, it's, this is like a really, really subtle bite, these trout, but dang, just slow and low on the bottom. Beautiful fish. All right, y'all. 
Catch and release today, people. Boom. Remember when the arcade was like the bee's knees? Oh, son. Dude, never in my life have I shorted a hook set. Not once ever. And you just did? I just did that and let that fish go. Mm. You know, like when it's like third and five and the quarterback like botches like a pass, Colton? Leaving points on the table. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fish. That's a good one. All right, y'all. Hooked up on a decent sized trout. Dang. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one. Oh, yeah. Come on, please. Y'all, I forgot my net. I am such an idiot. Uh. One motion. You want me to try? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to flip him. He's getting flipped. Get in the boat. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right, y'all. That right there was a nail biter. Look at this. That's what wintertime trout fishing is all about, people. That is sick. That's like a 21, 22 inch speckled trout. Oh yeah. So sick. That is awesome. All right, y'all. Look at that, big old yellow mouth. We're just working our baits really slow, right on the bottom. Casting it out, letting it sink down to the bottom, probably like 10 to 15 seconds, and then a steady retrieve. So it's crazy because Colton, who right now is holding the camera, who I'm fishing with today. Colton was, I was like working like different styles. I was jigging and Colton was doing a steady retrieve. So Colton was catching like, he caught like three fish. I haven't caught any. So you guys, I highly recommend that. When y'all are out fishing with somebody, a friend, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, you guys have one person work at one style, one person work another, use different colors, see what the fish are liking. So today, that's what these fish want, is just on the bottom and just a slow, steady retrieve. Dang, that's a nice fish. That's sick. And I forgot the net. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dang, that bite, yeah. That bite is so subtle. It's just like a tick. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes, Colton. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flip them. He's coming right at the boat. Ah, keep his head down. Very good. All right, one motion. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Whew. That's a solid 20 right there, people. Boom. Oh, that's a good fish. We have to stay in here for a little bit. Nice. Does this count as a double? Nice. Look at that. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That's why you come out here in the wintertime, people. All right, y'all. I think I got some. Uh... Did I get some on the camera lens? Stand by. Heck yeah. All right, here we go. All right, y'all. Oh. All right, y'all. Colton and I, boom, doubling up. That's what it's all about right there. There's Colton's right there. There's mine. That right there is wintertime trout fishing at its finest, people. Boom. That's why you get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish in the wintertime. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> That was sweet. Skis. All right, y'all. So right here, we've been catching a good amount of fish on this one. This is a quarter ounce jig head on a uh, diesel uh, minnow Z uh, by Z-Man. And this is the Mulletron color. So 
for the winter time, what we're doing is we're fishing like deeper water right here. So uh, show you guys how I'm working this bait, how we've been catching all these fish today. So I'm just casting it out and then I'm actually kind of giving a little bit more line after I cast it out. And I'm letting it sink down for this quarter ounce jig head. It's about 20 foot of water is what we're fishing, about 10, 15, 20 feet out here deeper. And so I'm just actually giving it like 10 seconds to sink all the way down to the bottom. So that's about 10 seconds right there. When it gets down there, when it gets, so after 10 seconds, I'm actually just doing kind of like a steady retrieve like this and just slow twitches of the rod. So I feel like that these trout, they kind of like key in on like a certain bait, a certain forage, like especially in the winter time when there's less options at the dinner table. Uh, anyways, I feel like these trout are kind of feeding on like smaller bait fish that are, you know, getting pretty lethargic here in the winter time. So um, these trout will definitely, in any game fish, will key in on like a certain piece of bait, a certain forage. And they really, really like, first of all, like the profile of the bait is really important, but also like the action is really, really important too. So that's why if y'all ever, there's a fish. There we go. Nice. Sweet. I was just talking to y'all about how I'm fishing this lure. And finally got on a good sized trout. This is like a, definitely a good sized trout. And I don't have the net, so he's getting, Oh, flipped. Nice. All right, y'all. There it is. That's like a 17 inch speckled trout, probably 18. These fish are really skinny this time of year. So like I said, these fish, they kind of key in on a certain type of bait this time of year. So um, these minnows, we don't have any shrimp in our waters right now. Catch and release today, people. All right, y'all, so I wanna show y'all like my favorite wintertime, like speckled trout and redfish lures and pretty much just everything I like to use for inshore saltwater fishing in the wintertime. So I have all my favorite lures right here. I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, really, again, this is like everything that I have. So my hard baits, so this, my hard baits, I really like to use this smaller profile. This is a heavy Dean. These are my favorite colors. So I'll, I'll leave the description for the colors uh, below. I actually need to look back at the packages because I can't remember exactly what this one is. So I don't want to like mislead you guys, but I do love this color. So for the colors and the profile, I like to be a little bit more subtle and it'll also a little bit more natural. So I like to use natural colored baits. In the winter time, we don't like to use things that are too loud. Even for like, I'm not using a lot of popping corks. I'm not using a lot of bright, bright colored baits. I like to use very natural colored baits and even like darker colored baits. This is what we were using today. So this is actually the Diesel Minnow Z. It's a Mulletron color and it just looks very natural. So um, between, I absolutely love the Z-Man Minnow Z's in the winter time. So this is my one of my favorite um, inshore saltwater baits of all time, but especially in the winter time, I'm using these primarily. And I'm using Berkeley Gulp, and I'm gonna be using like a swimming mullet. We don't have a lot of shrimp in our fisheries in the winter time, so a Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. Um, and I also like this kind of new penny color. I wasn't getting a lot of strikes on this one today, but I also really like pearl white. Um, what else? I'm gonna be using some Procure with really everything except for a Berkeley Gold. But on my Z-Mans, even putting Procure on my mirror lures too. So y'all definitely wanna uh, use Procure as well. Anything that's gonna help your confidence in the winter time, because winter time, you know, these fish, they're not as active. Uh, they're a lot more lethargic. So it's just, you just have to be patient. But when you get on them, you're definitely gonna get on them. As far as like my jig heads, I'm not using anything heavy. I'm using a quarter ounce or a one eighth ounce jig head. So this right here is a one eighth ounce jig head and this is a Creel Croker Z-Man. So I tend to use this and I really like this color a lot. Again, it just looks very, very natural. In the winter time, that's all I can say you guys. If you can remember, just 
downsize a little bit, you guys, this right here is all you need to catch big fish right here because these fish they're not really into chasing baits down they want an easy meal those right there these are my favorite uh lures my favorite setups for inshore saltwater fishing in the winter time and colton and i we had an awesome day today catching some speckled trout there's a little bit of a grind but that's how winter time is people and uh getting into march so hopefully this fishing is going to pick up but you guys get up off your butt and go catch yourself some fish all right y'all Thank you.